We'd like to welcome you to another episode of KOB TV tutorial. Uh, this is Kevin Brown. And today, we're going to be talking about the IPTV Smarters app, the settings. Now, this is the brand new IPTV Smarters app. And the only difference is it's branded with my logo and my company's name, KOB TV. So that's the only difference. So let's go into settings. So when you first um, get an account, you want to go into settings and make sure that your settings are set right. So settings are up here. You go into the settings icon. And the first thing you'll see is general settings. So let's go into there. Now, while you're in general settings, you have uh, different categories. The auto start on boot up. I like to keep that unchecked. And the reason is because when you're on a device, if you have it on auto start on boot up, it'll start the app up. So you could be doing something else on another app, and this will just pop up annoyingly. So always keep that unchecked. That's up to you if you want it to auto start, but I keep that unchecked. Active subtitles. So if you have a movie with subtitles, uh, then uh, they'll be able to show the subtitles at the bottom. Auto play next episode in 30 seconds. Now you could change that if you choose to. You know, you can in 10 seconds, in 40 seconds. 30 seconds is the default. So in other words, if you're watching episodes under series, and once that episode ends, it'll start the new episode in 30 seconds or whatever you choose to put it on. Auto clear cache. That just clears out all the junk that's in the background on the app. And so that clears automatically if you have that checked. Recently added limit. So these are the movies that they add or the series that they add on there. So you can limit it to 30 uh, per every time they add it. Now you can put it on 20 or 10, or whatever the case may be, but 30 is the default. I think that's enough. I don't even know if they add 30 movies in one day. They may, but uh, you can keep it on 30. I think that that's good. And down here you can see this is IPTV Smarters uh, 3.0.8, okay? And then below here is you can put it on the preferred language, of course, and the majority of us is going to have it on English. All right, so let's go out of here. Streaming format. Just keep it on that, uh, the MP, uh, the MPEG, uh, TS, uh, that's fine. Uh, all of the streaming is on that, so that's what you want to be on. You can put it on default, or you can put it on the MPEG. Uh, they both are fine, okay? Let's go into automation. Now, this is where it says it updates movies and series every so many days. Now, you can keep it on two days, or you can put it on one day if you want it to update every day, or three, four, five, or once a week on seven days. But I just keep it, the default is two. It updates movies and series every two days. Uh, but you can do what you want to do in that section. All right, so let's go back. Let's get out of there. Time frame. Now you can keep it on the 12 hours, or you can turn it to military hours, 24 hours. So if you look at the time here, it's 352. If I put on 24 hours and hit save changes, see now it's 1552 military time. So again, it's just a preference. I like mine's on the regular uh, 12 hour format. Okay. So let's go down to external players. Now here you can add a player to the account. And so what you do is you click Add Player, and you see the VLC. So you can add the VLC player uh, to uh, the account. Now, you already have to have it downloaded. There's other players. VLC is one of the more popular ones. You have an MX player, and you have different players that shows uh, on the app. And then you can play, play it using that particular app. But now, I will tell you this. Uh, this IPTV Smarters, that app is phenomenal when it comes to the player. The built-in player on this one is great. With the older one, I used to use the VLC, but in this new one, uh, the player is great. So I don't even need the VLC player. I add it to my system just to have it on there. Uh, but really, to me, you don't even need to add a player to this one. Player settings. You have hardware decoder and software decoder. I just keep it on hardware decoder. Uh, this is the best uh, thing because what it does is it works with the hardware. It works with your streaming device. On software decoder, it just works with the software. 
And so from my research and understanding, the hardware decoder is much better uh, than software. It runs a lot smoother. So just keep it on hardware decoder. Um, go down to buffer size limit. Now, the lower this is, the better. But again, if your system is weak, you want to have a higher number. Uh, so uh, I keep it on the default 20. So you can put it on 10, you can put it on 3, um, and it'll bu buffer less, but you might not get the quality of it. And so again, uh, you can play around with that if you choose to. So enable open SLES, so hardware accelerator audio. That makes the audio uh, better if you click that. And enable open uh, GL, so that makes the picture better. But again, it puts a strain on your system. So if you don't need to click those uh, two boxes, then you know don't uh, but you know if you need to uh, to make things work better just keep in mind it does put uh, a little more strain on your device okay so let's back out of here player selection and again this is where you could change your player and let's say if I wanted the VLC move uh, player for movies then I could pick that or I could do it for series and so you could choose a different player if you d decide to do that, but this player to me is phenomenal. Parental control, if you don't want your uh, children to watch certain programs or genres, you can you know set limits, and it's very straightforward. Uh, you can just make up a, a number up to five digits, and you can put a code in there and put save. So every time someone wants to go in that particular genre, they have to put in uh, the code. Just remember, if you put in the code, you have to remember it. Because if you forget the code, you're going to have to uninstall the IPTV Smarters and reinstall it in order to get to those particular genres that you locked out. Okay? So let's go down here. This is speed test. So this is where you can test your speed, your internet speed, uh, in megabits per second. And that's the one in the middle that we're concerned with. You want that to be at least 25 megabits per second. I mean, obviously, it will stream on a lower level. But that's my recommendation is 25 megabits per second is what you really at least want. And so let's see what the megabits per second on this is. And so it's pretty decent, pretty good, 50 megabits per second. And the uploads, it doesn't matter because we're not uploading anything. You're strictly downloading on this. So VPN, you can add a VPN to this. We don't recommend it because um, the, the service that I get my streams from, uh, they have a, a, um, a VPN on their end. And so it kind of slows down the system, really, when you add a VPN to ours. So we don't recommend a, a VPN. Uh, although most people do, we don't. When streaming, we never had a problem with any of our customers before. So um, you don't need to add a VPN to it. Now, to switch device mode. Now, you can keep it on live TV or movies. Now, if you remember, if you come here, you can put it when you're getting ready to watch a movie, just switch it to movies. It's supposed to uh, show better if you have it on the movies. It, it changes the uh, some of the, 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 the behind the scene things of the app and it makes the movie show better. The same thing with TV. But most people just keep it on TV. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it'll still show the movies. But it's just supposed to work better uh, if you choose one or the other while you're streaming uh, the particular uh, movie or live TV. But that's pretty much for the settings. And again, um, very simple, very straightforward, nothing hard. And so again, just remember that when you're setting up your IPTV, just go into the settings and make sure they're to your preference and uh, enjoy your streaming. So again, this is KOB TV a tutorial. And thank you for tuning in and continue to enjoy your streaming with our company.